Okay, so how do you get into your Windows 8 PC? After you slide up to unlock, you can use this new feature called uh, Picture Unlock to get into uh, your device. So you can just tap two points on the screen, and then swipe, and you're in. And you can use any sort of combination of gestures that you want. That's just the one that we used. And uh, when you get into the device, you'll see that there's a very sleek uh, Metro UI that's used to navigate. So you can use your finger, and all of these live tiles are uh, constantly updating in the background. So you can see here that we have you know, the stocks, you have our RSS reader, the weather, uh, news, and uh, social networking updates. And as we keep on going through, you have some developer tools, and a lot of apps that were tailor-made for Windows 8. And a lot of these were just made in a matter of weeks uh, in preparation for launch, and some of these are pretty cool. Some extra apps over here. So let's launch one and show you what it's like. Now a lot of these apps are built using uh, HTML5 and so they're pretty easy for developers to uh, get up and running. See? So that's a pretty cool puzzle game. And the graphics are pretty good too. So let's go back to the home screen. And so how, you might be wondering how you multitask. So we'll bring up the browser. This is IE10. And you can see that has like, like sort of a chromeless experience, which means that it's um, there's not a lot of stuff that gets in your way of, of the content. So you can just scroll down to see all of your tabs. And you'll see the address bar down here and you can just launch where you were. So this is one of the sites that we were on. You can see that the, um, the scrolling is pretty smooth too, as is the pinch to zoom. So to get back to where you were, you just slide in from the left. And you can actually decide how big you want the apps to be if you want to multitask. You can dock them to the left or the right. So it's pretty versatile. You can't see all of your apps at once, which is kind of annoying for us. But it is pretty smooth to switch from app to app. And because this is a traditional you know, Windows PC, you can always access the traditional uh, desktop mode. So you have all of your icons down here to run you know, desktop apps, and you can always just return to the Start menu just with the Start button. Another important software feature is that at any time you can swipe from the right side of the screen to access uh, what Microsoft calls uh, these charms. That includes Search, Share, Start, Devices, and Settings. So you can access settings like uh, the, your network, the volume, uh, brightness, and other settings just with the tap. And if you want to dig into more settings, you have to go to the separate control panel. We wish you could actually do it right from here. But one especially compelling feature is, is Share. And this is uh, Microsoft's way of demonstrating that Windows 8 uh, allows apps to communicate with one another. So we'll give you an example right here. So let's say you're in Internet Explorer and you want to share something, share an article. You come in here and you click Share. And you'll see that you'll have a couple of options that are contextually relevant. You know, relevant. So one might be Socialite, and one could be Tweetorama. And this kind of intelligent, intelligence is built throughout the OS. So you can see here that we already have a social networking update ready for us to post out to Facebook, if we wanted to do that. So that's a really nice feature to have, because it's baked in throughout the OS.